Any more questions? Yes, um, Master, before you mentioned uh, arranged marriage in all luck, uh -huh. um, could you tell us more about it, how it is done? Mm, okay. Oh, that was a different story altogether, okay? Okay. It has nothing to do with uh, forced marriage or anything like that. Oh, yeah. It's not the way they do it. The way they do it is like this. In Vietnam and all that, the so-called arranged marriage uh, or consent marriage required the groom first to work with the in-law family yes. for three years. Oh. Yeah, three years to stay with the wife's family. Understand. So that they can observe his character, you see? Oh. And whether or not he is worthy of their trust to have their daughter's hand in marriage. Right. And the girl, meanwhile, also gets to know him, to see him. Yes. You see? To get used to each other, whether or not they like. Yeah. They, are they compatible in any way, okay? Right. Before the marriage. Mm. Okay, that's not married yet. <laughs> okay? <laughs> yeah. And then, if they agree, if the girl agrees to that, and the family is okay with the boy, yes. then they might agree. Then he has to bring a big dowry, a lot of gifts okay. yeah, for the family, yeah. for the girl. Yes. Yeah. And according to the bride's family's request, it's not like you can give anything you want, you right. know? Yeah. They may ask for a lot. They may ask, of course, for the gold and jewelry and all that. Mm. And also uh, buffalo, <laughs> or maybe gold, stuff mm. like that. Yeah. yeah. A lot. And in these three years, he has to work very hard. Right. I mean, to show, you know? Mm, he yes. works hard and he has to be careful how to behave mm, and how to coordinate cooperate with the family and pleasing them, yeah? Both the parents, the family members, and the girl. Oh, I see. Imagine how much he has to work <laughs> yeah. to win her hand. Yeah. Just like that. And a lot of jewelry and gifts afterwards. Right. Yeah, for the wedding. Mm -hmm. And pay for the wedding, also stuff like that. So that's how the family in Olaf, in the old times, protected their precious daughter. And that's how the man showed his respect and affection to her before he could even marry her at all. Oh, I see. During these uh, three years, the bride's family could always cancel the proposal. Oh, yeah. Okay. Or the groom may also not like the girl. Yeah. Or the family, or whatever his reason, he can also cancel oh, and go yeah. home. Yes. Or the family doesn't like the boy. Then, sorry, say Yonara. <laughs> yes. And his dream girl <laughs> is outside of his dream. Understand. Yeah. Yeah. And maybe another man comes if uh, somebody asks for her hand and then they will do the, the process. Okay. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm -hmm. but that's how we, we show respect for women. Mm. Right. That's how we protect it. The girl in the family, in our life. Yeah. Before. Mm. Now, I don't know if it's the same system. Maybe in some like a rural area still have this kind of custom, mm. but not in the modern time. They just fall in love <laughs> <laughs> and they marry. Maybe the parents have to consent or not. Yes. <laughs> it's different. It's modern time now. Different, mm. yes. And in India, I told you already, it's different. Huh? They also yes. do similar things. Uh -huh. But I don't think the boy has to go and live with the bride, family. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Even then, they get to know each other first, yeah? Mm -hmm. Yeah, somehow yes. they are introduced by a matchmaker, yeah. and they get to know each other. So that is arranged, but also by consent. Mm. Yeah. Uh, because if the families know each other already, since they are children, then they already kind of uh, thinking that way already, yeah? They know each other, they know both families are good, mm -hmm. compatible. Yeah. And uh, then they just have to know her habits, yes. her behavior, and his, etc. Mm -hmm. Then it's more or less like done. But they have to know each other and like each other also. Yeah. More or less like that. It's hardly any forced thing. Yes. That's why many Hindu marriages uh, last forever. Right. <laughs> Indian marriages in the Hindu system. Yes. 
the last uh, mm. lifelong uh, the the wife hardly ever never leaves the husband. Wow. Because they all prepare, they all know each other, they are already satisfied before they marriage. Yeah, understand. before their marriage, it's not like blindly to throw it anywhere and force it into. Uh, sexual relationship just to satisfy uh, shoulders or men hormones. Yes, master. Ah, oh, that's very sad, very sad, very sad. Okay. Yes. All right. Now, can you imagine what it's like? Suppose the the Taliban is successful in ruling the country under this rule of theirs. It's yeah. not Sharia. I'm sorry. Yeah. Okay. Sharia is completely different from this. Okay. Now, suppose they are successful in enforcing their rule in Afghanistan. And then can you imagine what it's like? Uh, the country under their rule. Can you imagine that? Mm, no, I cannot. Okay. <laughs> I tell you. Imagine the picture, okay? Okay. The Taliban's ruling. Yes. Then half of the citizens, because half of, half of the country is woman, every country. Mm. Uh, more or less. Yeah. In the world, half is a woman, half is men, no? Yeah, right. Okay. So half of the country under Taliban rule would be like this. The woman is stupid, mm. illiterate, completely dependent, no ability, except relying heavily on her men. Yes. Uh, she cannot even read the rose sign. She yeah. cannot even sign her name or read her name. Yeah, master. Subdued like a slave. Right. She relies completely on her man just for any cucumber that she wants to buy mm. for the family. Yes. She cannot go out alone. Yeah. yeah. And the man is, of course, busy earning money or doing work because she cannot. Yeah. She's not allowed to work. She doesn't have any ability. She, she <laughs> cannot even read. All right. Yes. Completely exactly. half of the citizens are stupid illiterate and weak, dependent. So there is nothing that the woman can do to help her country, except to dress the children, <laughs> clean the pot, scrub the floor, etc. Yes. Everything she has to ask her men for money, for driving to the market, or even just to buy a cucumber or mm -hmm. anything. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And the other half of the citizen I mean, men are rapists, child molesters, oh. hmm? right? Robbers, robbing people, uh, property, or girls, or children, or women, right? And they become rapists and child molesters. So I wonder, what kind of society is that? What kind of country would the Taliban want to build? Yeah, unimaginable. Yeah. به مکتب می رفتم سه و هفت بودم در روز بیمونده بیده که امتحان ها سالان نیخو بودم که برم سه و هشت می عروسی که بکردم دگه نگ دیشتم هر چی که می گفتم می رم به مکتب می رم امی خسور ما خوشی ما همه گی گفتم که اگه تو بری به مکتب ما کارا مارکی می کنم ما طور بخریدیم و نمی اقصاریم و هم که می گفتم می رم مکتب و شوم و خوشوم و همه مر می زدم همی تا با ما اشتر لقات و هر دم هر دم مر می زدم و دو می دادم و فاش می گفتم مکتب خو همه می دوران تفریات کرد از تو حالا چی می خوای؟ نه مکتب خوش دیدم که بدبختی حالا بدبختی دیگه است که دخترها رو مثلا میگه که مکتب نخون فقط می مدرسه بس است و مدرسه درست است روی شریعت یاد می ته قرآن یاد می ته تعلیم الاسلام یاد می ته در کنار اینا بعضی مسائل های دیگه است که فکر اینا رو کور نگه می داره بی سواد نگه می داره and i wonder also what kind of decent international global community would want to shake hands with them cooperate with them or do business with them or even look at them exactly how do you deal with the rapists and child molester men and dumb dumb women Huh? Yeah. Half of the country is dummy, half of the country is violent. Right. Even to their own family. Yeah. Because if a girl doesn't marry to the chosen man any any time, any age or any look, she might fall in love with somebody else and refuse that man, then the mm. father will kill the girl. Like oh. honor killing, you know that. Yeah. Many thousands of them are killed every year. Just terrible. فرار کردم سه و نیم سال فرار بودم بعد سه و نیم سال پدرم مرا گرفت سه و نیم سال بعد بود مرا بندی کرد پدرم 
محکمه اول دو سال قید مرمد محکمه دو شش سال قید Anissa, not her real name, is in hiding from her parents. They've threatened to kill her because they believe she shamed the family honour by leaving her violent husband. Aya Baradea was buried in May last year. She died after being thrown down this well by her uncle. The uncle told police he'd killed her to protect the family honour, saying she had engaged in improper sexual relations, although they found no evidence to back up those claims. In the spring of 2012, five women from a remote village in Kohistan were allegedly killed by their own family. Their crime? Appearing in a grainy cell phone video that showed them clapping and singing with two young brothers. On a killing like that, innocently, just like that, you're even forbidden to love, yeah. which is natural within humans. You see what I'm saying? Yes, Master. It's against God. Yeah. Even God did not forbid Adam and Eve to fall in love. Yes. Has made them. Do you understand now? Yes, Master. So how would any international community or neighboring country even want to have anything to do with them? Unless they are all lunatics or possessed by Satan. Yeah. Yes, Master. Another thing. Suppose one day all the women have had enough and they revolt mm. against you, okay? Right. I mean the Taliban. I'm asking him this question. Suppose one day all the women who have had enough and they all stand up against you, against your terrible authority. It has already begun. Mm, yeah. Some women are already leading some protests. Yeah. And they quench them with violence. You yeah. see that? So that, yes. Yeah. So suppose one day the women, half of your country, stand up against you. Will you shoot all of them? Right. So that you can rule... So you can keep your rule, and then they might be defeated because they don't have enough weapons like you do. They don't have strength like men do. Yeah? Yes, yes. So half of the citizens would die. Yeah. Women and uh, teenagers and all that. Right. Will that be also according to Sharia? No, that you have to answer yourself. And also, there will be no more women left. Yes. There will be only toddlers and babies, right. girls. Will you also molest them for your need? Because there will be no more women left. Hmm. This you have to answer yourself. I have no more words against this kind of so-called rule. Yeah. This beyond human imagination. Yeah. And beyond human imagination. Yes. Would you molest babies and toddlers when there are no more women left, when you shoot them all? Uh, after all, the girls are just objects to you anyway. They're worth nothing to you, to your rule. According to your rule, women are nothing. You can just take them anytime you want, send them anywhere to anybody, like an object anyway. Mm -hmm. Not to talk about babies and toddlers. They are even more helpless. Yeah. Well, answer all that to God. Oh, I'm getting so heated up because I feel terrible. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes, Master. I feel so terrible. I could not even cry now. I'm full of anger and sorrow. I'm shaking. I'm trembling here, even though you don't see it. Master. Let me take a breath. Okay, Master. For a moment. What do you want to say? No, I'm okay, I'm okay, I'm just... I just said it's just not humane and beyond everything that we know is human. <laughs> yes, beyond. Beyond all cruelty, beyond all evil. That's the word I would say. Beyond mm -hmm. all devils, mm -hmm. Satan, yeah. madness, evil, hellish. I don't know any more words suitable. Yes. I don't think any of the international community, I already saw some in the news, that they don't want to recognize them. Yeah. So, okay, they are left alone. See how they face the whole international 
<laughs> elite yeah, community right. and how would they answer to God? Yeah, their time of departure. Oh, there's no need to ask that question because they will go straight to hell. They won't have a chance to even answer to God. They won't even have a chance for a trial for the final judgment. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. They go straight to hell. This type. <laughs> they are worse than devils. If it's true or that, then the devil is incarnate. <sighs> Even the devils, they only get the guilty one, the bad one, to bring them to hell. They don't harass the innocent, the harmless, the guiltless. You got mm -hmm. that? Yes, right. So this is beyond evil. I'm not sorry saying anything like this. I can repeat 10,000 more times.